All right, we're going to be doing a small intro. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Sometimes I like to stand on my head while I make videos. Okay, anyway, we're going to be doing a small introduction to proportions. A proportion is when two ratios are equal to one another. For example, one half is equal to two fourths. We've got a ratio of one to two, and we've got a ratio of two to four, and we know that one half is indeed equal to two fourths. If we wanted to check this, what we could do is we could go ahead and simplify this two fourths, just like we would any normal fraction. We know two goes into the top once, the bottom twice. We'd end up getting one half equals one half, which is true. So that's going to be our first method to determine whether or not two ratios form a proportion. Simplify each ratio to determine if they are equal. Let's do some examples. Determine if the ratios make a proportion. Here we have a ratio of 8 to 12 and a ratio of 2 to 3. Let's go ahead and simplify. This 8 twelfths can simplify to 2 thirds. If we divide 8 by 4 and divide 12 by 4, we'll get 2 thirds, which is equal to our other ratio of 2 thirds. So, yes, these do form a proportion. What about 4 thirds and 12 sixths? Well, 4 thirds is already simplified. 12 sixths, we know 6 can go into 12 twice, and our denominator will be 1. We'll get a ratio of 2 to 1. Now, does that equal 4 thirds? No, of course it does not. So this one does not form a proportion. How about 16 sixths and 24 ninths? Let's simplify 16 sixths for first. I know that 2 can go into 16 8 times, and 2 can go into 6 3 times. That'll simplify to 8 thirds. What about 24 ninths? Well, 3 can go into 24 8 times, and 3 can go into 9 3 times, and these are equal. So yes, they form a proportion. Remember, when you're simplifying these, just like simplifying fractions, see what can go into the numerator and the denominator, and then divide it out to simplify. Another way to determine if two ratios make a proportion is through cross-multiplying. Now, before we get into cross-multiplying, I want to show you exactly why we can cross-multiply. Let's say we have a proportion, one-half equals two-fourths. We know those are equal. So let's go ahead and why not multiply both sides by two. So if we multiply the left by two, we have to multiply the right by two. Remember, we have an equal sign. You have to do it to both sides always. So these twos are going to cancel each other out, and we'll end up with one equals. And here we have two times two, which would be four over four. Now what we could do if we wanted to get rid of this fraction here is we could multiply by four to this side, and then whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other side. So we'll times four over here. These fours will cancel, and then we're going to end up getting four times one, which is four, is equal to, and since these fours cancel, we just have a four over here, and since those are equal, we know we have a proportion. So a quicker way to do this, instead of multiplying each side individually, would be to just multiply across, and that's where we get the term cross multiply from. So if we just multiplied 1 times 4, that would give us 4 equals 2 times 2, that would also give us 4. Check, this is a proportion. So cross multiplying is kind of a technique that could speed things up quite a bit, but I wanted you to just know, understand why that worked. Now from now on, you can just multiply right across and you know it's going to work out. Now let's go ahead and instead of simplifying, we're going to cross multiply to determine if the ratios make a proportion. Here again we have 8 twelfths and 2 thirds. Well, let's set these equal to one another and cross multiply. So 8 times 3 is going to give us 24. Then we have 12 times 2. That's going to equal also 24. Check, this is a proportion. How about 4 thirds and 12 six? Again, let's set these equal to each other and cross multiply. We'll get 4 times 6, that's 24, equals 3 times 12, that's 36. Those are not equal, so these do not form a proportion. All right, let's try the 16 six and 24 ninths. Again, let's set these equal to each other and cross multiply. That'll give us 16 times 9. 
that's 144. Then we'll do equals 6 times 24, that's going to also equal 144. Check, we have a proportion. So, to determine if two ratios form a proportion, we've got two methods we can work with. We can simplify each one, see if they're equal, or we can cross multiply and see if they're equal. Either one is going to give you the same result.